Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Uh, in the last one we made it to Seaside Town where everything is creepy. Uh, in between episodes I did go and get some money so here's a couple of clips of some people leveling up. And Mallow had, or Gino has reached level 13. Uh, why did I say Mallow when I meant Gino? Uh, let's see, he's, sorry, there's no volume. Um, I was trying to gain some money so that I can afford things that are coming up soon. He gets a pretty significant HP boost, but let's check everything else just in case. Yep, HP it is. And now Peach is leveled up to level 12. Um, let's see, uh, good HP. Oh, I might want to go for that. Let's see, this one is five. This one. Is... Mm. Sorry for the lack of volume. I will go with HP because she's a healer. And as you can see, we have 701 coins now. So, um, let's see. I'm trying to remember which one had the items available. I think it was this one. Pretty sure it was this one. <coughs> um, uh, yes, we'll get one fire bomb and a nice. Can't carry anymore. Okay. Sell items. Uh, get rid of the honey syrup. This is just stuff that I acquired on while I was, um, getting coins. Uh, I also went to see if Yoshi cookies were worth anything, but they're not. So, I will probably just sell those. Alright, and then we want one ice bomb. Alright, so let's head on to, uh, the sea. <coughs> um, we automatically end up in a cave, and this is why I wanted money. Been a while since people came around here. He has a lot of stuff for sale. Uh... We want the hurly gloves. We have a super hammer already. Uh, we have the handgun. We have the womp glove. We do need the sailor stuff. So I will get that. And the nautical dress is for toadstool. It's a sailor's dress for toadstool. And I don't have enough. So let's equip real quick. Um, let's see, the Hurley Gloves. I do believe that is a new weapon for Bowser. Unfortunately, we're going to have to say goodbye to Chomp for now. But the Hurley Gloves are pretty fun. Uh, I will show them off here in a moment. We got the Sailor Shirt for Mario. Um, you don't have anything good for Bowser. We didn't get the dress yet. Uh, so let's equip these two with their sailor stuff. And then I can sell the happy stuff to buy the nautical dress. Okay. Yes. 
Okay. Trying to think what else I might need. Shoot. Uh, let's get her nautical dress on so we could sell the polka dress. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Since you shopped here, I'll tell you something interesting. The ship sank into the briny sea because a giant squid attacked it. Some people went in to survey it, but they never came back. Eerie. Okay, uh, we don't want to attack any of these guys yet because of what's in this box. So... Uh, hold on, I need, I forgot to, uh, box locations, I forgot to bring up my box locations, where is my next hidden box, okay, there's only one in the sunken ship, we're not quite there yet, alrighty, let's get this and run real fast. Get them all! Get them all! Ah! I didn't make it into the next room. But we got some level ups. Bowser reaches level 13! Uh, HP 3. Oh, that's just one. That's just what HP it is. And Peach leveled up! She's caught up to everybody else because she has the experience booster on. She learns comeback. This uh, is our revival spell, basically. Uh, so it's a good thing that she's got that now. Um, HP is pretty good. A little checking these. Yep, I'll go for HP because she needs it. Alright, so let's get into a fight, shall we? I'm double checking my bestiary because I realized I forgot to do the psychopaths in the last episode. So I'm making sure I do them this time. Oh, excuse me. Uh, here we have Zeostar and Blooper. Blooper is just another staple of the Mario universe. Blooper Psychopath says, I love floating around. And Zeostar says, oh, I can't stand him. Um, I'm not sure exactly who he's, um, who he can't stand, but okay. Um, oh yeah, he can run away, can't he? Um, because we're in a technically un cave -ish area, I guess, is because everybody looks like they might be poisoned, but they're not. And here is the first glimpse of Bowser's Hurley Gloves, where he picks up Mario and throws him! And a doll Mario is left in Mario's place. So I... Hmm... I think I'm gonna wait on that because I think... Yeah, that's a green coin. And that's a flower. Is this... I think this is a s nope, it's a full heal. Shoot, I should have fought everything in here first. I thought maybe that was a star. Well, let's fight everything! 
and we do have another new enemy. This is Luco. Luco? 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 Anyway, he his psychopath says floating's a bad habit. Okay. To each their own. Uh, I didn't show off Ultra Jump yet. Uh, here we go. As you can see, it does multiple enemies. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Oh, I missed the timing. Uh, but it's like Super Jump, only it does multiple enemies. Uh, Peach, of course, has her slap. If Mario is fainted, uh, for any reason, uh, Bowser will throw the doll instead of Mario. So, he respects the fact that Mario is down and doesn't throw his fainted body at the enemies. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get rid of, uh, the rest of these stars and, uh, then we'll continue. Mario reaches level 15! Thank goodness! Uh, HP is 3... I like that attack. And that's just one. Uh, he's okay with HP, so I'm gonna go for that extra power. And yikes. Uh, everybody took a hit! Why is... Bowser didn't level up? How is he at full HP all of a sudden? Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's use Peach's therapy on herself. Uh, that was not good. <laughs> anyway, moving on! I may as well show this battle because I realized in the last battle er, that I wanted to show these off. So let's start with the ice bomb. Oh, wrong button. Ice bomb, shall we? Oh yay, I got a freebie so I can use it again later. It's a really powerful, so it's kind of useful for those enemies that are weak to ice. None of these guys are weak to ice. They're weak to fire, and some are weak to thunder. Uh, which is understandable for thunder, but fire? Eh, oh well. <sighs> Moving on. And we have another battle. I'm gonna show the firebomb. Oh, wrong button! Boom! It's a giant explosion! And I got a freebie, so I can use it again later. And on we go. There is a chest up there we wanna get to get to it. We come down here. And you'll see this is a cave. So we go in, and we walk into the bubbles to send us up, and here we got a max mushroom! <coughs> now we are out here at the ocean, the actual ocean. Um, I don't know why, but uh, Earlier in development, they had a different, uh, thing. Oh, why not? I'll show this battle to show off the Mukumuku cookie. 
Oh wait, it's for the party. I'll show that at a different different time. Uh we'll show off rock candy then. Bunch of stars! And I got a freebie! Nice! Anyway, as I was saying, they showed a different... Uh... Oh, we have new enemies! Uh... <laughs> Here we have... Mr. Kipper. I don't know why, but in the bestiary he is green, and in here he's purple. And Krusty! Uh, Mr. Kipper, psychopath, says, I'm a fresh little fish. Yes, you are, Mr. Kipper. And Krusty says, look at this! His defense is really high. Oh wow, just glancing at the bestiary, his defense is 100. Ugh. Krusty is a ping. Uh, let's show off the goodie, goodie bag. We just get a coin. That's all it does. Uh, do I have anything else I wanted to show off? Oh, Fright Bomb. I'll show off the Lucky Jewel. And we automatically get a Lucky. Crap, he silenced Peach. Um, that's not good. Uh, while we're on the subject of showing off items, we might as well show the Fright Bomb. Um, yeah, let's Fright Boost. Blooper. Oh, and I got a freebie! Uh, it can make the enemy run away, I think. Or cause fear. I think it's fear. <laughs> I'll have corrected myself on the screen here. Um, a lot of these guys are weak to fire, so I am going to get rid of Mr. Krusty with some fireballs. Button mash, button mash, we button mash. There, got rid of him. He's a tough bloke. Uh... I don't think I've shown off poison gas yet. Alright, rotate control pad. Um, Peach is still mute. So we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of and slap Mr. Kipper. Oh yes, they are poison good. It's so hard to tell with this color palette they chose for this area. Uh, I'll just attack. I missed. For experience? Sure. Dang. Uh, oh well. And Peach level 14 already! Uh, HP's pretty good. But that magic is good too. Let's go for the magic. We'll do HP next time. Mallow! I forgot you're here too. 
<laughs> uh, what am I doing? Special. Anyway, before I kept getting interrupted, um, there is a, a thing that they didn't use for the sunken ship. I don't know why, because it looks so much better than this. And I will show it on the screen now. Uh, but it, uh, yeah, it's a different, if it, it's a different thing that used to be there. And it's, it's not, it's not that mm -hmm. anymore. It's, it's mm -hmm. this. And now we're in the sunken ship. Um, first things first, we have a note. There's a page from a travel log. Let's take a look. <coughs> we're done for. A giant squid just got a hold of us. The ship's going down fast. Wow. Uh... Sounds ominous enough. Uh, this is just a window, even though it kind of looks like a door. But here's another note. Another page from the travel log. We managed to trap the giant squid in the treasure cellar. The treasure will sink with the ship, but so it goes. Alright, and here's our save point if we need it. I'm not going to save right now. And we got new enemies. Here we have the oh so bothersome. I, I feel I feel like that this is a point where uh, there is a definite hike in difficulty. So it's always good to go uh, try to try to level up before this point. Anyway, this is Reaper. He says, any reaping to be done? Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to show off at the moment, so we'll just attack. And Gino reached level 14. We learned Gino Blast. Uh, there is one attack that I want to get him to before we get to a certain boss because one of his abilities is really powerful and is kind of cheap. But I'll show that off when we get to it. Uh, I might go with that HP. Yeah, I'm, I'll... Hmm, HP or magic? It's five, while the other's three. I'll go with HP. And we have another note. Page from the travelogue. The door to the cellar is locked, with a password consisting of six letters. In order to proceed, you'll have to decipher the password using the six hints. I already know what the password is, but I will try my hardest to get all six hints. Anyway, come here. I got a pure water out of that, and I've got to check my items. It's a little shroom. It's wilted. I'll show that in the next new enemy. Um, <laughs> let's get rid of these mushrooms by using it on people. Uh, Peach and Mario. I want to keep space because I realized in a previous episode that my inventory was full and I got a flower box from an enemy. Um, it was the knife guy and great guy fight. Uh, so I didn't get that flower box from them. Oops. 
Um, I think at the next vendor we will get rid of the goodie bag and the luck. No, I want to keep the lucky jewel. Or it? No, I want to keep the shiny stone. Get rid of the lucky jewel uh, and the goodie bag. Um, it's better to just sell it because you really don't. I think, I think you don't get as many coins from using it as you do from selling it. So, uh, was there another? Yes, there was. And moving on. And here we have another new enemy. It's as I was saying, it's Dry Bones! Dry Bones Psychopath says, I'm sick of getting hit! And I believe that's because every time he gets hit, he falls down and then gets back up again so he can be attacked again. Which is why this place is so annoying, because Dry Bones are everywhere down here. And I don't know if they count as a ghost. I don't think they do. Where was it? Uh, pure water. Where is it? I uh, oh I am I am blind. It's right there. So let's try it. I got a freebie, and it worked. I don't know if I get experience from this. Nope, no freebie that time. Oh, I did get experience. Cool. And a max mushroom. Awesome. But see, they just fall to the ground. Another note. There's a page from the travelogue. Uncover the secret of the six hints. Of course, since they're provided by different people, they'll be pretty tough to solve. Maybe impossible. Alright. We have new enemies! We have more new enemies! Um... Let's get rid of the creeper. Uh, our new enemies are Strawhead and Reacher. Reacher is so creepy. Strawhead's creepy in his own right, but yeah. Uh, let's poison gas him. Rotate the control pad. Oh, I missed the one guy. Um, all of these creatures I know are um, <coughs> susceptible to the um, pure water. Uh, Reacher, his psychopath says, hope you'll stay close. Um, Strawhead says, gotta press this shirt. Really? Huh. Okay. You do you, guy. You do you. Yeah, see, um, Mario has a status ailment, so Bowser threw the doll instead. Whether or not it's weaker, I don't remember, but... Okay. Ooh, a 
give her water. Use that in the next fight. Which should happen, right? No! I ended up not using it because it was just one griever. I want to recover flower points. Let's get rid of these honey syrups. Make sure that we have room for other stuff. Yeah, I'll use a maple too. Alright. I'm not going to bother fighting all the dry bones because they get right back up. And what's back here? A flower. And I'm going to fight these. Because they are new! Unlike their predecessor, the Rat Funk, these are called Alley Rats. Their psychopath says, Don't pity me, Mario! <coughs> Excuse me. So, I think we're gonna get rid of these Reapers first. Um, let's use an Ultra Jump. And I will go ahead and fight all of these uh, alley rats. I don't think there's any other new enemies that can pop up with them. Um, but I guess we'll find out. And there was! This is Gorgon. Uh, he, his psychopath says, I just want to go home. else to say here. So let's fight more of these alley rats. Is that all of them? Yes, that would be all of them. Making sure I didn't skip my next <clears throat> itchy hand. Um, my next invisible block. doing on coins. We're doing alright. Alright. This is where things get tricky. Um, there are six rooms here. Each one has one of the hints. So we have to... There's different things that you have to do in each one. There we go. I got that one right away. Yes! A full heal. Memento left by Magellan. There is an S in the word. So I will be going around getting all of the hints. Thankfully these are just single griefers that I've been running into. Uh, this isn't the hard one yet. You gotta aim it. Uh, I think that's too far. Nope, I didn't do it. That was pretty good. 
There we go. I didn't think I was going to get that one. We get a flower and a memento left by Magellan. It is found on the bed of the ocean. <coughs> All right. Okay, that was more than just one griever. Um, oh, right, this room. Okay, this is a three-dimensional maze. And a lot of people get very frustrated with this. But, um, thankfully, uh, someone on uh, GameFAQ uh, mapped out the entirety of it, so I will show it right here. Um, I definitely need that to go over this lip, and then you want to jump this way, follow this down and around to come out. Where am I? Yeah, I am not up on this level. Oh gosh, um, it's easy to fall down. Um, Okay. Back wall. Up. Um. Where am I? Uh. Okay, there's this up here. And you want to jump up here. Try not to fall. Oh, yes, like I'm on the right one. Really good. Okay, so you want to level. I'm going to go down to this, which takes me down to this one. Down. Yep, there we go. I made it. <sighs> Got a royal syrup. Didn't mean to spike my mic there. <coughs> Memo left by Digamma. It has two vowels. All right, we're done with the dimensional maze. <laughs> so annoying. Um, in order to get this chest, we have to get past this dry bones. I'm gonna fight him when he is the furthest over here, so I can run over while he's down. But it's, I think it's a bunch of coins. And Peach leveled up from that. She's now level 15. And she learned Mute. Which is pretty self-explanatory. It mutes enemies. Um. Oh, another 5 for HP. Uh, let's go for that HP. And let's quickly go over here and get all these coins as fast as we can before he gets back up because he's a tough battle. And Bowser leveled up too. Ah, uh, HP's only one. Attack's only one. Okay, fine. I guess you get some magic. Let's get the heck out of there. Ah, <sighs> phew. Anyway. Um, one thing I forgot to mention about Dry Bones is that you can only destroy them, or finish them off, um, with magic attacks. You can't just outright attack them. So yeah. Hey, it's good to see you. Okay, if you were unable to purchase stuff at the beginning, he does show up here again. I want... I can't carry any more items. <sighs> I'll give you a hint. The password's got something to do with the C. If you want to get through all six of the obstacles, you can try to deduce your way through. Oh, if you don't want to get through all six obstacles, you can deduce your way through. Good luck. I'm gonna get all of the... <coughs> Um, 
hints. I'm gonna use one of my maple syrups. Uh, does anyone need healing? Because I have mushrooms I don't need. Anyway, moving on. I like it when it's just a single enemy and they use something that I can- Whoa! No, no, no! Oh, you gotta collect all the coins in this room. Without grabbing the leader coin. Oh no! We have to go to the door again. I'll just have to the coin down. 374, okay? No, oh, I missed that one coin! Does it count? No, it doesn't even count. Where's your coin now? Oh, okay, let's try this again! So close. I'm probably gonna fast forward through this part. This is annoying. Got it! Finally. Memo left by Digamma. It has four consonants. So, four consonants, two vowels, six letter word, has to do with the C. Oh, we got quite a bit of coins for finishing that. Alright, let's move on. Alright, which one is this? Oh. I think I remember this one. You gotta... Ah. You gotta reset it every time. Okay. Dang it. Fast forward again until I get it. Ah. Got it. Really? A mushroom? I'm gonna use that. Mem memo left by Van Doren. At least two consonants are side by side. Okay. Okay, this room is a little tricky. Because you're supposed to push on both buttons at the same time, but you see this barrel is looks different. It kind of sticks out compared to the rest of them. And boom! <sighs> Full heal. And our last hint from Van Doren. The R becomes before the L. Now... Sometimes you can get it, but I I don't know how to connect all of them together to make what it is, but the first letter is P, second is E, A, R, L S Password is Pearls It is different in the Japanese version um, I forget what it is off the top of my head I'll display it here um, But yeah This note here uh, it says Once you've come up with the key letter Speak in here so that's basically what we did. So in the next one, we will find out what was beckoning us in that door. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!